In this video we're going to show you how to enter a four digit access code to provide a level of security from changes made in the field. You can enter the four digit access code by accessing the setup menu, select controller, select access, and here create your four digit pin. Then determine what level of access you want to give to the field. Uh, the default is all, so all means a person in the field accessing the controller would be able to run manual station and program starts as well as make program changes. The other option is no access, meaning the person in the field would not be able to make program changes or do manual station or program starts. In this case, I'm going to select Restricted, which will allow the user in the field to do manual station and program starts. However, they will not have the ability to change any programs unless they have this four-digit code. In this case, I've entered my four-digit code. I've selected Restricted as my access level. You can go back home. And as a demonstration now, if I were a field maintenance guy accessing the controller, and I wanted to make a change to the program, you'll see I'll need that four digit code in order to do so. So that gives you a, a, a level of uh, security from changes in the field. However, I still will have access because we selected restricted as our access level, I will still have some level of access to do manual station starts or program starts. So in this case, I'll turn station one on for 10 minutes and you'll see I'm allowed to do that. So using the four digit access code is a great way to keep from uh, unwanted program changes in the field and it's as easy as entering your four digit code in the setup menu. That's all there is to it.